Get ready to embark on an extraordinary adventure. Join me as we unveil the awe-inspiring journey of St. Quiteria. From divine secrets to sacred legends, we'll delve into the mystical world of miracles and uncover the untold wonders that shaped her life. Don't miss out on this breathtaking exploration. Watch to the end now and let the magic unfold before your very eyes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to watch. Welcome to Saints for Today, the ultimate destination for learning about saints and their inspiring stories. Our channel features daily videos on various saints, their lives, their teachings, miracles, and anything else that makes them special. Welcome to Saints for Today. Numerous ecclesiastical edifices in the southern region of France and the northern expanse of Spain bear the consecrated appellation of the Venerable Martyr, Saint Quiteria. She continues to enjoy an expansive following, particularly in Air, situated in the province of Gascony. In this revered place, her purported relics were safeguarded until they were disassembled by the Huguenots. Conversely, despite her name's inclusion in the Roman martyrology, no allusion to her presence is discernible in any of the ancient calendars. It is popularly surmised that she was the offspring of a prince hailing from Galicia, who forsook her ancestral abode due to her father's coercive intentions of betrothing her against her will and compelling her to renounce her Christian faith. Pursued by emissaries dispatched by her father, she found refuge in air where she met her tragic demise at the behest of his command, succumbing to decapitation. The narrative, as it has been disseminated most widely, comprises mostly legendary elements, interwoven from the well-established saga of King Catilius and Queen Calzia. Regrettably, the precise details pertaining to Quiteria's existence remain shrouded in uncertainty, barring the certitude of her name and her devout following. Owing to her role as a protector against the venomous bite of rabid canines, she is customarily depicted in iconography, accompanied by a dog held fast by a leash. It appears that Portugal too holds Saint Quiteria in devout reverence, albeit with a distinct variant of her martyrdom account, as well as claims of possession of her sacred remains. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or inspiring. Your support means everything to me, and it helps me to continue creating content that resonates with you. So, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and join the movement towards becoming your best self. Together, we can make a difference and inspire others to do the same. Thank you for your support.